was Jesus based on the Persian god Mithra? Christ Mithras will claim Jesus never existed and was just a copy of Mithra because Mithra was born of a virgin on December 25th. He was a traveling teacher and performed miracles. He had 12 disciples. He sacrificed himself for world peace, was buried in a tomb and resurrected three days later on Easter morning. His followers were promised immortality, he was called the Good Shepherd, Savior, Redeemer, the Way, the Truth, and the Light. His Holy Day was Sunday, and his followers partook in the Lord's Supper every week. So do we have proof that Jesus was a mythic copy of the god Mithra? Our northern countries and the Druids of the North, they carried out special ceremonies surrounding the mistletoe and surrounding the fir tree and the beliefs, and, and they would meet within circular areas. And they had a secretive cult that spread throughout the far northern countries. One of the interesting individuals, and you can look this up if you can find it in the dictionaries or encyclopedias, is a man called Mithra or Mithras. This is a very mysterious character. And when you look at history, you find that this uh, individual called Mithra was born on December 25th. His day of the week was the seventh day of the week that we still call Sunday. He was supposed to be the son of the, of the sun god himself and they had a special sacrament made up of bread and wine and they would make this drink during this time and supposedly he died for the sins of the people. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? But when you try to find Mitra or Mitras in the encyclopedias, they, through, through state intervention, erased the name. Why is this? That is because after the time of Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, when the message began to spread and they went north, and you'll see within historical writings that Barnabas, one of his disciples, met a man named Saul or Paul, who later called himself Paul. Paul said he saw Jesus on the Damascus road. And he went to the disciples, but the disciples turned against Paul. Only Barnabas stayed with him. But when Paul and Barnabas went into Greece, Barnabas left him. Now what is the reason why they all left him? What are the concepts coming through Paul? I am a Hi, my name is Nazanin. I am a Zoroastrian and I'm going to tell you about what is the Zoroastrian religion. Zoroastrian religion is the oldest and first monotheist religion that believe in God. The religion was founded uh, nearly about 4,000 years ago by Zarathustra or Ashizartha. Zoroastrian religion was once uh, one of the most powerful religion in the world over a millennia. And it was the official religion of the Persian Empire. Now today we are fewer people. The two big communities that we have are in Iran and India but we also migrated in other countries as well, like Australia. We call God Ahura Mazda, meaning the great wise creator and ultimate wisdom. We don't say that God is he or she, because as you know, God is beyond gender. We believe God is everywhere and there is no shape or no color that 
could refer to God because of that Zoroastrian people never have idols or worship idols. And we believe that we are God's co-workers. We are not God's slaves. We believe that good and evil are inside you. There is not anything like devil that is pursuing or tempting you to do wrong things. We also have faith in the holiness of four natural elements, fire, air, soil, and water. And it is essential for us to keep the environment clean. சமய போதகர்கள் அப்படின்னு சொல்றாங்க 
ஆப்ரகாமிய மதங்கள் தங்களுடைய இறைவன் எப்படி இந்த சைத்தான தோற்கடிப்பாரு கடைசி காலத்துல அப்படின்னு கதை சொல்றது போல இந்த ஜோரசைனசத்திலையும் ஆங்கிரமன்யும் கடைசி காலத்துல அப்ரா மஸ்தாவால தோற்கடிக்கப்படுவான் அப்படிங்கிற கதையும் இருக்கு கிழமத்து நாள் அதாவது ஞாய தீர்ப்பு நாளை இவங்க ரஷ்யோ கரத்தி அப்படின்னு சொல்றாங்க சினாவத் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு பாலத்தை ஒவ்வொரு ஆன்மாவும் கடக்கணும் அப்போ யாரு தீமை செஞ்சாங்களோ அவங்க எல்லாம் நரகத்துக்கு போவாங்க அந்த தீமை செய்யாம நன்மை செஞ்சவங்க அதிகமா இருந்தாங்கன்னா அவங்க சொர்க்கத்துக்கு போவாங்க அப்படின்னு சொல்றாங்க கடைசி காலத்துல ஆந்திர மண்ணியும் ஆசிதாக்கா அப்படின்னு சொல்ற ஒரு தஜல் ஒரு அந்தி கிறிஸ்து ஒரு சைத்தான அனுப்புவாரு இந்த ஆசிதாக்கா தஜல் போல அந்தி கிறிஸ்து போல மனிதர்களை தீமை வழியில நடத்துவாரு அதுக்கப்புறம் அஹுரா மஸ்தா சயோஷியாந்த் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு மஷியாவை மேசியாவ அனுப்புவாரு இந்த சயோஷியாந்த் ஆசிதாக்காவை கொன்னு நீதிய நிலைநாட்டுவாரு அதே போல நரகத்துக்கு போனவங்க எல்லாருக்குமே நிரந்தர நரகம் கிடையாது அந்த துன்பத்திலேயே பலர் திருந்திடுவாங்க திருந்தினவங்களுக்கு திரும்ப சொர்க்கத்துக்கு போறதுக்கு வாய்ப்புகள் கிடைக்கும் அப்படின்னு ஜொரஸ்ட்ரேனிச சமயம் சொல்லுது இப்படி ஜொரஸ்ட்ரேனிசத்துடைய பல கோட்பாடுகள் ஆப்ரகாமிய மதங்கள் தங்களுக்குள்ள உள்வாங்கி இருக்கு